In this video, we play a battle pass tank that's so good, it might be boring to play. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. A rare treat for you today, an actual good British premium tank. This is the Centurion Mark II. It's available as the top tier reward for the battle pass. I've unlocked it and decided to play it. Now, it's really no surprise to me that this thing is very good. It's a fully stabilised Centurion that is at 6.3. We have a two-plane stabiliser on, which is basically a Mark III turret. This thing is incredibly chunky. It does have some weird weak spots here and there, but at long range, these are difficult things to hit. Just don't talk about the paper roll from play. Now, what this thing doesn't have that the Mark III does is a 20-pounder. This thing actually has the 17-pounder, which is the exact same gun that's on the Challenger, for instance. This thing has 269 millimeters of penetration with an APDS shell, and of course, you can drop the shot mark eight if you actually want some post-penetration damage. Because this is the 17-pounder as well, with an ace crew, you get less than a six second reload you also have negative 12 degrees of gun elevation which is absolutely fantastic and it's not that slow either the reverse gear is pretty responsive although still slow but it's good enough to get you out of trouble so long as you're on a defilade now i don't think this thing is going to stay 6.3 for very long historically because it's british it has to go up and be a hurry if it's a good vehicle and it's probably better there as well 5.3 vehicles of other minor tech trees should not be facing this thing that's just my opinion about it. Anyway, the battles you're about to see are basically a victim of this thing's own success. It's so good that the enemy gets pushed back into the spawn so quickly that the games end very easily. But I had a few good games regardless. Anyway, let's get into battle and I'll show you how I got on. Right, so our first adventure is a gigantic map. So we are taking 50 hours. <laughs> The, uh, the good news is this is a uh, full down here, by the way. But unfortunately, we're not against Russia. Oh god, this scope is pretty bad as usual. Thank you, Britain. Very cool. We're gonna head up here, though, and start doing some long-range lobbing. The only thing we're gonna really struggle against is Tiger 2, I think. And there's gonna be very few of them at 6.3. And if they are, it's the P variant. And I actually don't think a Panther and a Tiger can get a very good shot on us at long range. We got pretty good armor. That guy fired a range shot trying to hit this uh, jumbo and he wasn't far off dude we're gonna go out so we're sticking to 21 tiger there give this guy a slight holdover it's a vfw he's about to learn today chief is that a vfw that's a long range he if a <laughs> Unlucky big man. <laughs> See you in the next life. Oh, he spawns another one. His rangefinder doesn't reach that long, so I mean... I just remembered my ranges from playing previously. Actually, the reverse in this is not terrible. I'm a bit surprised with it being a British vehicle. Okay, we got... Oh, it's a... A Sturm Tiger, I think. Right, brother man, let me at this stun tiger. We're gonna have to go a little bit further for this dude. Where did he go? Oh, he's through here. He'll have us roughly ranged in. This is gonna hit him. Get to the eye. We can't pin him at this range. He's a bit too far, maybe. I hit his round. Right, we're gonna back off from here just in case he's a good shot. Should be far enough away that it won't hurt. Nice try, dude. Wait, he's got about a minute of that. Driving about like a lunatic. Looking good. It's gonna go over, right? Yeah, I'm stupid. Right, I'm actually gonna push into the middle of the map right now. Slight hold on that. Missed him. Oh, we got gunfire coming from C. I'm not really worried about the Tiger guy. He, he's out there having fun with his VFW and Tiger. Right, we're a kilometer and a half to the ACAP. Looking beautiful. I killed his machine gunner. Wow. Long 88 is an issue. Gummy beard is crew. Next shot hits me. 
and my first stage ammo rack is now depleted. Shell shattered. We're good. We're alive for now. What are you, a tiger? Hello. This other guy is still firing at me. Machine gun transmission, so he's going nowhere. But there's a tiger too out there as well. Okay. Are you trying to shoot my teammate or me? That's unfortunate. Okay, now his transmission is out. Thank you, teammate. Very cool. Right, where is this Yagpan that he's here? Bit too low, but we're going to get involved over this way because we'll be waiting about for a long time. If you're wondering why I'm just spam firing, I'm trying to get rid of the amount of ammo that I took with me. Which is really not a great idea. I also like to mention that we could, we could spam fire rounds accurately because we have a full stabilizer. There goes that tiger that we knocked the transmission out on earlier. My M18 is pushing the A-cap up towards this Yag Panther, and he's dead. A keen eye on your mini-map. Folks, there goes that man. Again, wouldn't have been possible without the stabilizer. And I don't know what the best course of action is here. Okay, that guy's up in logs, is he? Never mind. M18 pushing up with me, got him too. Some good, uh, some good teamwork happening right now. And again, dude, my M18 is doing absolute wonders right now. I can't really see anything up here, though. I don't see anything B-side. We're about to get a lot of enemies come back. So, one downfall I see with the Centurion that has always been an issue is going up hills is not very good. My teammate's really struggling to break this thing's armor over here, never mind. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. That's another King Tiger. Let's get a ranging shot in real quick. Beautiful. to go for his turret. The angle is that shell shattered. A little bit low that time, despite not really changing the elevation. Barrel tip hit, so... Oh, he's still shot though. And almost taking care of him. Right, off we go. Let's deal with this medium tank, I suppose. Right, is this guy... He's just right in front of me here, right? What's up, Panther? Easy ammo rack shot for us. Great angle to attack with ABDS there. And this tiger is right in front of me. Yes, he is. I think we go for breach first. What do you think? Make, just make sure he can fire back rather than go for a kill shot. Never mind, I did. I'm going for a kill shot. It was a mistake. Still killed him. Oh no, we are dead. 100%. Bulldog. He made a mistake now, he's got no horizontal. And there's an SPA to my left. I'd like to get to this guy before he can repair, which is the only reason I'm pushing him right now. But now I can't see him. He might have actually did the correct thing and reversed back quite a bit. The anti-air did push up here, and here comes a uh, Tigor. Do you see me? That's a bomb for me. We're good. And the other guy missed. He's done. And here's a bulldog coming. At this range, I'm a little bit worried because our stabilizer doesn't really help in a close range brawl like this, but the fact that we're both stuck here is pretty funny. But he's got a heat FS, so. Problems. He is going for it. I was thinking about it. Hands are four here as well. I'm gonna give him a broadside. Right, Panzer are four. Not really worried about him either. But now I've lost him. Tiger two. Get a loader. up. 
Okay, Panzer IV hit me, but I still don't see him. There goes the tiger. Dude, I would never have spotted you in a million years if you didn't fire your machine gun. Loader's out so he can't fire back, and his horizontal's out too. Okay, then. You did this to yourself. And I think that's game, then. I think it was game a long time ago, to be honest with you, but here we are. A plane coming for me. How did I miss that? And a free airplane kill too. I I'd like to see the rewards for this. Even though we get no caps, nothing like that. Still interested to know. And that's game for sure. The duck just died. B-51 shot him. Wrigley. So, uh, holy smokes, that's very good reward. We only got 8 kills. But we got 5 assists as well. Uh, so, pretty decent. This man asks what we are. And is about to get a fright when everyone tells him that it's... 7-3 Unless he's in a good vehicle What is he? Robux man Oh he's He's in a Stimpanzer Right IS-3 Oh hey An obble It's cabin A right now I should have dealt with this thing first Maybe I still can actually I got his fuel tank well Run, little guy! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, jet out. The other guy's dead now. And I think I've got an enemy here. Yeah, I do. Gotta load our horizontal drive. Oh, we are dead. But he missed me. He's still trying to put his fire out or something. Excuse me? I'm in a bad spot here, this is not good. Right, back to ABDSs and we're getting flanked on the right side. Alright, the 2S, the 3M is gone. Good news everyone. The ABDS let us down a little bit sometimes, but we're good. Who are you? Oh no! Try that. Right. The the easy bit. Right, what's happening around about me? We're absolutely in a weird spot that I'm really uncomfortable with. Both my tracks are red. An aeroplane. Please don't be a P8 or something. Oh, it was the it was the flying gun. Fill up here and no idea. Oh, brethren. He's a very large gentleman as well. I did get his gunner. Can he sh can he swing away? He kind of can, actually. But he's dead. Right. I think everything is good. We're go we got the cat. The enemy team seem to be sniping rather than doing anything else. And I'm in a pretty half-decent spot as long as I don't get an airplane turn up. The there was a jumble went around this way. I hear him. We're having to back off a little bit because we're getting pushed from the left side as well. And like I explained, my team overextended and now they're all dead and it's just me out here. Manda loader machine gunner, not gunner, which is really disappointing to see. Transmission and track, he's going to reload quicker than I can, which is really bad too. Oh god, this is really not great at all. Right, we're alive. Right. Uh, we're alive at what cost? Where are all the men's at? Show me the men's. Uh oh. That's not for me. No! I, once again, I've missed an opportunity. I, I'm moving out. If we die, we die. My nice turret rotation speed is gone also, which is a real problem. I just wanted to make sure I could deal with this thing coming. I think he saw me. Did he see me? No, he didn't. 
and there might be another one. My teammates are rolling up, which is nice to see. With all the Pershings and big American heavies and stuff like that, there should be loads of them. Five enemies. Still no cap. Oddbuds want to smash the... Oh. My slow turret rotation speed was an issue. I didn't even see this guy coming out of here, so... He deserved the sneak. I'm guessing all the enemy teams in the spawn then. What's happened to War Thunder players? We got, we got five kills at the beginning and then it just dwindled away. GG, I guess. For a game we didn't do much in, again, we got as much as we get for our nook for six kills and two assists. Right, dude, let's see oh, where we at, dude. There's a full up to your 7 3. I'm gonna tear across the A cap. If I was faster, I'd like to get into the middle, but we're not, so we're not gonna bother against Russia, so the only thing I'm really scared of is the BMP-1. Not even big guy S tanks. Quite happy just to shoot the barrel out and pick him apart. But I don't think this APDS can up or front plate anything big and heavy, like my teammates trying to do right now. But we'll get involved in a decent fight over here, I can imagine. That M18 is about to die. Three, two, one. The guy never seen him. Too busy getting shot by my teammates, I guess. Can't shoot through that building. I can't run over this post either, apparently. Well, M18, I'm proud of you. Let's get rid of this guy if we can. Still nothing appeared here, there's no way. Well, this guy's actually driving out. I was thinking about it. I 18 hit him but didn't do anything to him. A tank destroyer of what sort of description? There he goes. Type 60. It's a little double cannon thing, right? I don't even know where he's at anymore. He's getting arty anyway. Right, we're gonna move around this way. Uh oh. T4400. It still needs a turret cheek shot, unfortunately. And if he shoots anywhere near my turret, we are very dead. Wow. I'm surprised. No, uh, don't want to get shot in the roof with that. Or nor this guy. Okay, that one missed. Okay, did the 122 bounce me or was it the guy next to me? They're both in trouble now. Right. Just had to have faith in my armor. There's definitely a guy to my right here still, right? No? I think we're good. There's a guy behind this boat though. I don't know what side he's coming out. He's getting strafed in a minute. It's an unfortunate soul. Just getting obliterated with planes. A BTR is coming. Hold up. I'm not sure we can even one tap a BTR with a HE shell, but we're just gonna definitely give it a shot, dude. <laughs> Where are you? He's still spawn protected. This guy is pushing around behind me, so that's not good. SU 100. Do they want to keep coming? He must have moved all the way around. Oh, hold on. He's repairing, so he may actually repair that quite quick. Can I shoot him through here? Where's his engine? Right, the BTR. What happened to this lad? That's not a good sound. Oh, it's a 35B. We're about to find out if the BTR's still alive. We do need to get 
what would it be at some point? Oh, the BTR is smoked. There is a ZSU 57-2 fire in our aeroplane. I do need to get the B. ZSU hopefully dies. Uh, oh, there's no one left. In. The the Thunder Road tactic at the start. Oh, it was a, it was a Hong Fong. A Fong Kong. I think he actually hit the 3D5. Oh, he did. The 3D5 is not well. Oh, no. A hori. Shell shattered, okay. Didn't expect that to do anything, but... He just got heat FS. All he got is loader. Oh my god. Yag Tiger wins the day. I this match has been very short. Dude. I don't know what happened to this enemy team, but I guess it is a very shallow guess. Everyone's moved on to playing Russian vehicles. And what's happened is it's brought the skill level down a little bit. What are you still doing? Oh, we're gonna have to go for this holy. The game, the game is over. That was a 35B crashing. I can see this guy's. Are you repairing here or something? Because I don't think it's a good spot to do so. Oh dear, that was not a good shot. He can still move. The damage on the APDS is pretty pathetic. I need to get his door. I'm going to keep this shell loaded and see what we can do to this IS. Uh, nothing since he spawned with it, I suppose. Yeah, for sight shots, this is definitely better. What a weird match, dude. Well, good game, I guess. The the rewards are pretty stiff. Like, if you're averaging over, like, 10k per kill, that's pretty good in my book. So, a fully stabilised 17-pounder with APDS on a very good chassis for a medium tank there's nothing to not love about this thing. Now, I had someone ask me, is Battle Pass worth it? Are the events worth doing? And it really depends on you. If this is your favourite tank in the whole world, then probably yes, you're going to want to grind the Battle Pass or at least buy it out. But are you really going to miss it if you don't get to it? Probably not. It's a great tank and you can still form a semi-decent loadout with it. You can even take the Doom Barn out with it as well. You get the Rotal 90 here as well. You can even use the Centurion Mark 1. It's got some really great things round about it. Anyway, it's a great tank. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Spinny Hanger Man. I appreciate the cinematic intro. <laughs> thank you very much for watching today as well. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't done already. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more content. Uh, I'll be back again in a couple of days for reasons. Uh, I'll hope to see you then. For everyone who is subscribed over on Discord and Patreon, thank you guys very, very much for supporting the channel. To all the tier 3s over on Discord to get a shout out, that's Flubberino, Miss Lita, Toast McGee, d -back is Sexy, White Wolf, Audible Bow, Bofe Distari, Fearless Germ, Mushy Boy, Odds Favourite Fish, Rusty Stoyan, Wrecked Wolf and Zig. And to everybody on Patreon, that's Sickness Wind, Matthew S, Paul Wendrick, Zadago Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane Maguire, Aheneus, Anderson Wind, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, MB1 Kenobi, Ethan Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, Kim the Salt Lord, Lovable Weasel, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Wild, The Anomaly, Van Ayn, Warpig, Shaft, Mortan and Stoyan, David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye. Nah, dude.